This video is brought to you by Young Dad Gaming on Facebook, playing RAN Online and Special Forces here in the Philippines. Go check out his Facebook page through the link on the description down below and revisit your childhood gaming memories. Okay, so as usual with the microphone reviews that we do, we do not do any post-processing, so let me just put it out there. So right now we have the BM422 with me. I'm particularly happy with this microphone and I will explain later. There's also a part in which I feel like this microphone is not for everybody and then again I will explain that, so watch until the end of the video. Let's talk build quality. The microphone itself is pretty standard, everything I've expected from it, and I do not feel dissatisfied in that regard. Now, the body is made of plastic, the grill is made of metal, but uh, the stand. The stand is impressive. Very rarely do I ever say that something is great or impressive. The stand is. Why? Because the shock mount that it comes with is made of metal. The base of the stand is also made of metal. I don't know if that's heard in this microphone, but anyways, uh, we have this set at 100% volume so that you would hear how it picks up the background noise. Right now, the only source of vibration in my room is my computer fans. One way I would suggest you to use this is to isolate your voice by dialing down the gain to about 40%. If you dial down the gain to 40% and you move your mouth about 3 inches away or about 2 inches away, sometimes you're gonna have to kiss the microphone depending on how isolated you want your voice to be. This is what it would sound like. So I said in the beginning of this video is that I'm happy with this microphone and the reason is because you can go into sound settings and adjust the monitor level of your microphone. It's very rare that you get this from microphones at this price range. It's got a very good stand that this stand is stable enough to even support this microphone sideways, all right? It's sideways and even if you wiggle it around, it's not going to fall down. Very good bass stand. So now I've got the microphone attached to my Thronmax Zoom. This microphone has other pros such as recording at 192 kilohertz. Um, I don't mind much about that. Some of you might care about that, but to me, I don't really, f I don't really hear the difference between 48k and 192k. Now let's move on to the reasons why you might not want to buy the BM422. The first con is that the RGB cannot be turned off. There is a manual way of turning it off by putting in the sponge cover or the foam cap. In this way, there will be no light. Next is that it, the mute button has a lighting icon on it, but it feels kind of weird because there are some markings on it. It isn't very clean in other words. Let's answer the big question. Is this a microphone for you? That, my sirs and mams, will depend on whether you want to use this for vocals, for podcasts, for Zoom meetings, for Discord. This is not the best for singing because it picks up a lot of that low ends. As for podcasting and voiceovers, I think this will do very well because it makes your voice so much fuller because then again, it picks up a lot of the low end. You could use this for singing depending on your voice, but in my case, nah. I'm pretty sure I didn't discuss all the information you're looking for, so please utilize the comment section down below. Leave a like. The like helps me a lot. And you're not required to subscribe, but if you want to, you're free to do so. This is Bibi Baronera, and I will see you guys again next time. <laughs>